Cricket in South Africa has had its fair share of ups and downs in the past, but the 2016-2017 season has seen considerably more ups than downs, and the CEO believes that the cherry on the cake will be for the Proteas to claim the title that has eluded them for almost two decades. I think it will put to rest something that troubles many of us, um, players, fans, administrators, um, and how nice if we could actually get over that line and just forget about the challenges we had previously. Because then the next tournament will be just another. Uh, so I think uh, it would be great if we can be successful. There's uncertainty around the future of Proteus coach Russell Domingo, who will need to reapply for his job should he wish to continue until the end of the 2019 World Cup. The fact that he's got to go through a process now uh, is the reality of doing business in a, in a proper way. Um, I've assured him there's nothing untoward in it. Um, he should take comfort in the fact that due process needs to be followed. The former ICC CEO says that bidding to host the World Cup certainly is on the cards, but it will be a while before the tournament returns to South Africa. We are aware that through to 2023 the World Cups have been allocated. Uh, first available would be 2027. Um, and as soon as um, that conversation starts, uh, we want to be in the front of the queue uh, to put our case forward as to why South Africa deserves to have the next World Cup. It has been an incredible year on and off the field for Cricket South Africa. The Protea men and women's team have been outstanding in their efforts, while financial stability has returned to the organisation after a couple of years. But what is exciting is the advent of a global T20 competition that will see millions of dollars pumped back into the development of cricket in South Africa, where future stars will hopefully be unearthed and money be provided to nurture that growth in the long term. CS2 Plessis, CGTN, Johannesburg.